What up, you guys? Um, I worked. I volunteered at the food pantry today. Dude, dude, it was tiring, exhausting. But came home knocked out. But um, let's see. What am I? But um. I don't even know what I was going to say. Um, I'm tired. It's late. I just... Because my phone... I have a Google Pixel and they don't have much hard drive. I guess they're trying to push everything to the cloud. So... I, I record a lot of video. And I bought one of those... Uh, a, a, a terabyte hard drive. Right there. And I'm just taking the f things off my off the computer onto the phone onto the terabyte, and uh, that's it. That's what I'm doing. But uh, I just want to say that yeah, I'm very tired. I'm exhausted. I want to say that um I want to just I don't know what to say. I'm tired. I just want to... Because right now, just... You guys have to follow me. You know I'm lost right now. Because I don't really know what direction I'm heading to, right? Like... Okay, Jose. Literally, for 24 months, dude. I was like... I spoke the idea. And I'm like, okay. From that moment, okay. We need to have... Something, right? We need to start building on something. And... It was from the idea. So I came from the idea... To, I have to, you know, I'm going to shoot a video of all the different prototypes that I had. I think I had four. Four, so may I just show the, the iterations. But, um, I was talking about. Oh well, I guess I'll talk about something else. So guys, I'm just trying to do the future, like what we want to, what direction we want to head to, right? And um, and I, I mean, I've been lost. You guys have been following me, right? So I'm trying to figure out what direction to head into. What's what should I be doing, right? For 24 months, I've been I've been working on getting from the concept to the actual prototype of our patent patent pending cash vending box, and. The, the reason I want to do this is because there's people that are suffering from chronic illnesses like I used to suffer from when I was younger. And I just want to help people. That's it, you know? It's the, the pain point. That's the pain point that I want to help. So if I could do that, and then I'm like, well, how do we do that? And then this, came, this idea came about, and that's what I'm working on. So, I also... One of my old cl university classmates reached out to me, and they were like, "Jose, you know, I've been seeing some of your stuff." And they had said, "Jose, well, that I think I made a video of this the other day too." But she had given me some directions. She said, "Try to, try to." Add, bring value as to why you're doing this why your thing is better than the traditional store so I'm gonna start making content on that like why is it different you know and I'll just tell you right now the, one of the major reasons was inventory loss because when you uh, when there's not a lot of resources in areas that's inevitable it's historical so one thing that I thought of was like, hey, how can we vend food securely in these areas, right? That was it. That's how I, I had to answer that question. How can I secure food in underserved communities where there's a lot of inventory loss? And that's the... You, like, dude... There was a Target that just closed down right on the south side of Chicago. 
and my um, when I was at Operation Hope, the instructor was telling us that the reason they're leaving is because there's a lot of inventory loss. So it's going out the back door. That happens. So that's one of the major things. And so one of the major things that I had to overcome was securing food. That's what I had to ask myself. How do I secure food? And I was like, I've got an idea. What if we make a box? And it evolved. I mean, it evolved for so many steps. It evolved. It lived the first. The first vision was me, like a like the Netflix, like the Red Box for DVDs. But I was gonna have fruit. But I was gonna put fruit in there, in the Red Box kind of thing. You know. But then I was like, man. The weather. What if it's not enough food? Vandalism. So I had a overcome all those things little by little so from that stage I was like okay well what if we just put it in a, a store like put it put it in clothes or actually I wanted to put like surroundings around the the vending unit and then we went inside because the, if you leave it outside I was like it's just it might get vandalized and so the next step was okay, we don't want to get vandalized. So then I was like, okay, let's bring it inside. And then I started contacting vending machine companies to say, hey, can you invent, can you create, build this for me? Where each box had its own payment center. Each box had its own payment center. And they're like, no, we can't really create that. It's not what we do. And I've seen a lot of locker systems all over the world. They, they sell them. They, they sell them in boxes. They sell things in boxes. Just like the way I want to do it. But they don't have its own payment center. Cashless. Secured. Augmented reality. Learning tool. You know what I mean? In that. And that's, that's, that's the thing. That's the difference. That's the differentiator. So when they were like, no, we can't do that. I was like, fuck, what am I going to do? And I went to Coleman Center... I don't know if it was before that or after, but I was at Coleman Center at DePaul University, and they have the, the, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it was, a uh, the, uh, it's a, it's something where you do something good, I forgot, I'm so tired, so I had applied last year, and that was the first time I pitched the idea, and I, it was early, it was last year. 12 months ago. So literally, it's been... So there you go. It's been one year from the moment that I left for, that I left the Coleman Center and they're like, Jose, what's your differentiator? And I didn't I didn't know. I didn't know what the differentiator was. I didn't know what it was. And so I came home and, I, and as soon as I got home, I was like, I, you know, I actually have a video of that. I, I gotta find it. It's in my old phone, but my phone screen broke. But I got my mom's old phone, so I'm going to flip the, flip the screens and upload it. So it was 12 months ago where I was like, this is my differentiator. It's our vending box. And from that moment, was like, okay, this is going to be a differentiator. Let's get some let's get some IP on it. Thus, the journey for creating the prototype. So from that moment, I was like, okay, I have a box that I made it at the at the uh, Polsky Center and I was like okay what's next and then I had to start building it in my head so I went to DePaul and then I found all these resources that were available to alumni the computers the ID realization that but they had a 3d printing thing that I was for like the neighbors the neighborhood and I went there and I was like man I wish there was something more that I could use and then when I was at Coleman Center then they told me about the IRL, ID Realization Lab, and that's where I went. So for one year, I was focused on the ID Realization Lab and working on my patent. So I had heard Steve Harvey say, if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. So I didn't know what it was. Like I knew I wanted that to be the differentiator. I knew I wanted it to be the vending unit. And so... 
I had to just start thinking, like, how's it going to become a different child? What's going to be different about it? And so I had to start building it. And I built it from, for, for like, let's see, I, it's been May, February, February, March, April, May, three, nine months. So for nine months, I had to build it in my mind, b do a miniature prototype, and then file for a provisional patent. So there we go. One year. One year to get from there, from, from the actual concept. So it was like one year to get it to this, that moment, and then another year to fine tune it. I mean, that sounds about right. So we're at, we're at 25 month now, Mark. So, so yeah, one year to get provisional patent on it. And to actually build it out. Because when I was at DePaul, I was literally at the IRL ID Realization Lab, slowly visualizing. And then if you saw the one, the the miniature prototype, the wooden box one, that was kind of like, once I did that, then I could see it. And then I could finish off the patent. Because I could be like, yes, 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 yes. I want it to be, I want to do this. I want it to be way scale. I want it to have a sensor, I want to have sensors here, I want to have the air at sensor, I want to have a temperature sensor, I want to have a, a video, I want to have, like, you know, I, I threw it all in there. And the augmented reality system. I mean, I think it's pretty dope. I haven't seen it, so fuck it, we'll see what happens, bro. You know? I don't know what's going to happen, bro. You feel me? Every day, I, I'm like, what the fuck? Every day I'm like, what the fuck? Like, no cap. I mean, imagine. A fucking idea. <laughs> like, I'm trying to open up a fucking food store in the fucking ghettos, bro. With, with allergy-friendly plant-based foods that right now cost a little extra? But I'm going to offset that with like standard fucking food like rice and beans, garbanzo beans, you know, chickpeas, lentils. We're going to make some fire ass meals from that. And that's going to hopefully that'll work. So that's the timeline, guys. I'm glad I got, I got this video because I got a timeline of how it happened. So now we have the. Now we're here. My old university classmate reached out to me and she was like, Jose, I've been looking at your stuff and she said something like, you know, why would, what's the value? Why would somebody need to use that vending box as opposed to a traditional store? You know, I haven't made that connection. I haven't, because I, because I've been, like I said, we just, I, you just saw what I did the last two years, building the box. Here we are. Now we gotta move forward. What's the next step? Gotta get people to notice me, Gary V. So she reached out and she was like, "Hey man, um, you know, start showing people this. You know, start showing your story, sharing your story." And I haven't even really finished the box, but maybe that will get people to help me finish the box. Who knows? You know, you guys have found this. Follow along. I don't fucking know. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so keep on watching this. Thank you for that. Subscribe. Hit the follow button. Just a kid from the south side that has an idea to freaking uh, alleviate some of the chronic illness and food deserts. Love you guys. Bye. Good night.